Ben Kingsley, a name synonymous with exceptional acting, has made an indelible mark on the film industry. Born as Krishna Banji, he embraced the stage name Ben Kingsley to forge his path in the world of acting. His career is dotted with standout performances that have captivated audiences and earned him numerous accolades. One of his most iconic roles was in the 1982 film Gandhi, where he portrayed the Indian leader Mahatma Gandhi. This performance earned him an Academy Award for Best Actor, solidifying his status as a formidable talent in the industry. Kingsley has also delivered compelling performances in films such as Skyler's List, Iron Man 3, and House of Sand and Fog. Throughout his career, Ben Kingsley has demonstrated his versatility as an actor, excelling in both dramatic and comedic roles. He has worked with some of the most renowned directors in the industry, including Steven Spielberg, Martin Scorsese, and Ridley Scott. Kingsley's contributions to the film industry have left a lasting impact, and his work continues to resonate with audiences around the world. Ben Kingsley is a highly respected actor, known for his memorable roles in movies like Gandhi and Skyler's List. You might have your own favorite performance of his. When did you first become aware of Ben Kingsley, and what's a special memory or experience you have related to his work? We'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. There's so much more to share about this classic star, including surprising facts and anecdotes. So keep watching this video to learn more. Ben Kingsley, born Krishna Pandit Banji, was born in Scarborough, North Yorkshire, England in 1943. His parents, Ram Tula Harji Banji and Annalena Mary Goodman, were of Indian and English descent, respectively. His father was a doctor, and his mother was a model and actress. Ben's upbringing was multicultural, and he was exposed to various arts and cultures from a young age. Ben's early exposure to acting came from his mother, who introduced him to the world of theater. He attended the University of Salford in Manchester, where he studied drama and later joined the Royal Shakespeare Company. His early career included several stage performances, including playing the lead role in the play Hamlet. Key influences and mentors in Ben's life include his mother, who inspired his love for acting, and directors such as Sir Peter Hall and Sir Lawrence Olivier. He has also cited actors such as Alec Guinness and Paul Schofield as significant influences on his craft. Ben's path to becoming a successful actor was not without challenges. He faced discrimination due to his Indian heritage and had to change his name to Ben Kingsley to increase his chances of getting cast in roles. Despite these challenges, Ben's talent and dedication to his craft have earned him numerous accolades, including an Academy Award for Best Actor for his portrayal of Mohandas Gandhi in the 1982 film Gandhi. Ben Kingsley is a British actor known for his work in films like Gandhi, Skyler's List, and Iron Man 3. In a career spanning over five decades, he has delivered many memorable performances. In Gandhi, Kingsley portrayed the titular role earning an Academy Award for his powerful performance. He embodied the spirit of Mahatma Gandhi, showcasing his dedication to nonviolent resistance. This film is a must-watch for those who want to understand the life and philosophy of this influential leader. Skyler's List, directed by Steven Spielberg, features Kingsley as Itzhak Stern, a Jewish accountant who helps Oscar Skyler save Jews during the Holocaust. His nuanced performance adds depth to the character and the film's narrative. In Iron Man 3, Kingsley plays the villainous Mandarin, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He brings a unique charm and menace to the character, making it a memorable performance. For those new to Kingsley's work, House of Sand and Fog, Sexy Beast, and The Jungle Book are great starting points. These films offer a glimpse into his range as an actor, from intense dramas to thrilling crime films and animated adventures. In House of Sand and Fog, Kingsley delivers a heart-wrenching performance as an Iranian immigrant caught in a legal dispute over a house. Sexy Beast features Kingsley as a menacing gangster, showcasing his ability to play complex characters. In The Jungle Book, he lends his voice to Bagheera, the wise panther, offering a more light-hearted performance. Overall, Ben Kingsley's filmography is a testament to his talent and versatility as an actor. His performances have left a lasting impact on audiences and cinema making him a must-watch for any film enthusiast. 
Ben Kingsley's passion for acting can be traced back to his childhood, growing up in a family that valued the arts. His paternal grandfather was a celebrated bishop and vegetarian advocate, and his parents were actors in the Indian National Theater. This exposure to the world of theater sparked Kingsley's interest in storytelling and acting from a young age. One of the most pivotal experiences that fueled Kingsley's desire to pursue acting as a career was his experience performing in school plays. At the age of 13, he played the lead role in a school production of The Murder in the Red Barn, which was a transformative experience for him. He later recalled, I felt a sense of power, a sense of connection, and a sense of communication that I had never experienced before. After completing his education, Kingsley pursued a career in acting and quickly gained recognition for his talent. He made his film debut in the 1972 British drama Fear is the Key and went on to appear in a number of successful films throughout the 1970s and 1980s. However, it was his portrayal of the Indian leader Mahatma Gandhi in the 1982 film Gandhi that truly cemented his status as a world-class actor. Kingsley's performance in Gandhi earned him critical acclaim and numerous awards, including an Academy Award for Best Actor. The role was a particularly meaningful one for Kingsley, as he is of Indian descent, and had long admired Gandhi's philosophy of nonviolence. Since then, Kingsley has continued to pursue a successful career in acting, appearing in a wide range of films and stage productions. He has been praised for his versatility and his ability to bring depth and nuance to his characters. In reflecting on his career, Kingsley has said, acting is a way of expressing the human condition and I feel incredibly fortunate to be able to do what I love for a living. For Kingsley, the spark of creativity that was ignited in his childhood has continued to burn brightly throughout his career, fueling his passion for storytelling and his commitment to his craft. In the film Gandhi, Ben Kingsley's resemblance to Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was so striking that some natives believed he was Gandhi's ghost. Prior to Kingsley's casting, Richard Attenborough had considered other actors such as John Hurt and Tom Courtenay for the lead role. However, it was playwright Harold Pinter who recommended Kingsley for the part after seeing him perform in a play. Nearly two decades later, Kingsley and Michelle Williams would reunite in the film Shutter Island. In the movie Species, Kingsley played the character Xavier Fitch. Although Kingsley's portrayal of Gandhi and Fitch are vastly different, his ability to convincingly embody both roles demonstrates his versatility as an actor. In summary, Ben Kingsley's uncanny resemblance to Mahatma Gandhi and his talent for immersing himself into diverse roles have earned him recognition and acclaim in the film industry. Ben Kingsley, born Krishna Pandabanji, faced significant challenges in his journey to becoming a successful actor. His Indian heritage led to skepticism in the industry and he often faced rejection due to typecasting. To overcome this, he adopted the stage name Ben Kingsley, hoping it would help him secure more diverse roles. Financial struggles were also a part of his early life. Kingsley worked as a theater usher and a janitor to support himself while pursuing his acting career. Despite these hardships, he remained dedicated to his craft and continued to hone his skills. Kingsley's resilience and determination paid off when he was cast in the groundbreaking film Gandhi in 1982. His portrayal of the Indian leader earned him critical acclaim and an Academy Award for Best Actor. This role not only solidified his place in the industry, but also helped break down barriers for actors of color. Throughout his career, Kingsley has continued to take on diverse and challenging roles, showcasing his versatility and talent. He has become a respected and admired figure in the world of acting, inspiring others to overcome their own obstacles and pursue their dreams. Ben Kingsley's portrayal of Mahatma Gandhi in the film Gandhi earned Sir Richard Attenborough Oscars for Best Picture and Best Director. Interestingly, Attenborough had hoped that Steven Spielberg would win for E.T., the extraterrestrial. Later, Kingsley starred in Spielberg's Skindler's List while Attenborough and Kingsley worked together on Jurassic Park and The Lost World Jurassic Park. In Skindler's List, Kingsley played its Stern, while Hans Michael Reberg portrayed Rudolf Hose. This film is unique as Hose is the only character not played by Gunther Maria Halmer, and other characters are not mainly fictional, unlike in Sophie's Choice in War and Remembrance. Halmer also appeared in Gandhi with Kingsley. To prepare for Gandhi, 
Kingsley learned to spin cloth like Gandhi, finding it easy. However, spinning and talking simultaneously proved difficult, causing him significant challenges. Despite these hurdles, Kingsley's dedication and authenticity shone through in his award-winning performance. Ben Kingsley's career is studded with breakthrough moments that highlighted his extraordinary acting prowess. In 1982, he catapulted to international fame with his gripping portrayal of Mohandas Gandhi in the biopic Gandhi. His performance earned him an Academy Award, instantly establishing him as a formidable talent. Richard Attenborough, the director of Gandhi, praised Kingsley's dedication, stating, Ben became Gandhi. He left no aspect of his performance unconsidered or untouched. This role not only brought Kingsley critical acclaim, but also allowed him to leave an indelible mark in the world of cinema. In 1991, Kingsley demonstrated his versatility by playing the villainous role of the ruthless businessman, Jonathan Cantrell, in the film Turtle Diary. Critics lauded his ability to transition seamlessly between such diverse roles. His portrayal of the notorious gangster, Don Logan, in the 2000 film Sexy Beast was another groundbreaking moment in Kingsley's career. The Guardian's critic, Peter Bradshaw, described his performance as a masterclass in sinister screen menace. In 2006, Kingsley added another layer to his career with his role as the mystical character, Kazuhiro, in the animated film The Ant Bully. His willingness to explore various genres and mediums further solidified his status as a respected and influential actor. More recently, Kingsley's role as the powerful leader, T'Chaka, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Captain America Civil War and Black Panther showcased his ability to captivate audiences of all ages. Throughout his career, Ben Kingsley has consistently delivered compelling and memorable performances, breaking barriers, and setting new standards for acting. His work has not only resonated with audiences, but also inspired generations of actors to come. Ben Kingsley, an esteemed actor, has a notable role in the film species as Xavier Fitch a scientist who uses genetic engineering to create a powerful creature he can't control. Interestingly, he believes making it female would ensure more manageability, a mistake also made by the scientists in Jurassic Park. Coincidentally, Richard Attenborough, who directed Kingsley in the Oscar-winning film Gandhi, plays the role of the character these scientists work for in Jurassic Park. Kingsley's acting career is marked by significant milestones, one of which includes joining the Royal Shakespeare Company in 1967. His talent and dedication have led him to share the screen with other accomplished actors. In Species, he stars alongside two Oscar winners, Forrest Whitaker and Michelle Williams. The film Species is a fascinating blend of science fiction and horror with a cast that boasts of such prestigious talent. Kingsley's role as Xavier Fitch adds depth and intrigued to the narrative, making it a compelling watch. Ben Kingsley, a renowned British actor, is known for his deep immersion into his roles, often transforming his physical appearance and adopting distinct accents to bring characters to life. He has described his approach to acting as a marriage of the disciplines of theater, film, and television, allowing him to adapt to various mediums while maintaining a consistent commitment to his craft. Kingsley's artistic vision is characterized by his dedication to understanding the psychological and emotional aspects of his characters. He once stated, I'm not interested in the superficiality of a character. I'm interested in the interior life. This focus on inner exploration results in nuanced and authentic performances that resonate with audiences. His unique style involves extensive research and preparation, often involving interviews with experts, immersion in relevant environments, and the study of historical contexts. This meticulous process allows him to fully embody his characters and deliver captivating performances that leave a lasting impact. Personal experiences and worldview play a significant role in Kingsley's work. Having been born to an Indian father and British mother, his multicultural background has informed his perspective and fueled his curiosity about diverse cultures and histories. This curiosity is reflected in his willingness to take on diverse roles, spanning various time periods, geographies, and cultures. In summary, Ben Kingsley's artistic vision and process involve deep character exploration, meticulous research, and a commitment to authenticity. His unique style is informed by his personal experiences and worldview, resulting in captivating performances that resonate with audiences across various mediums. 
Ben Kingsley's portrayal of Mahatma Gandhi in the 1982 film Gandhi left a profound impact on the viewers, with some older villagers in India's rural areas mistaking him for the real Gandhi while he was in full makeup. To prepare for the role, Kingsley studied extensively, watching five hours of newsreel footage of Gandhi in one sitting. Kingsley's acting career spans over four decades, and he has worked with notable directors and actors, including Robert Downey Jr. in Iron Man 3, and Sir Richard Attenborough, who directed Gandhi and played Charlie Chaplin in Chaplin. Despite his diverse roles, Kingsley's portrayal of Gandhi remains one of his most memorable and impactful performances. Kingsley's ability to embody the spirit of Gandhi, a prominent political and spiritual leader, is a testament to his skill as an actor. His dedication to the role and his immersion into the character's life and philosophy is evident in his nuanced and powerful performance. Kingsley's portrayal of Gandhi continues to inspire and educate audiences about the life and legacy of this important historical figure. Ben Kingsley, born Krishna Panda Banji, is a highly respected British actor renowned for his versatility and depth in performances. He has made significant contributions to the film industry with a career spanning over five decades. One of Kingsley's most iconic roles was in the 1982 film Gandhi, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Actor. His portrayal of the Indian leader had a profound impact, introducing many Western audiences to Gandhi's philosophy of nonviolent resistance. According to Robert Ellis, a film historian, Kingsley's performance brought a new level of understanding and appreciation for Gandhi and his teachings to global audiences. Beyond Gandhi, Kingsley has demonstrated his range in various roles, from playing a Russian mob boss in Sexy Beast to the villainous Mandarin in Iron Man 3. His ability to fully embody diverse characters has inspired many actors and filmmakers. Director Stephen Frears, who worked with Kingsley on My Beautiful Laundrette, commented, Ben has this extraordinary capacity to find the truth in every character he plays, making them feel alive and authentic. Kingsley has also been instrumental in breaking down cultural barriers in Hollywood. As a British actor of Indian descent, he has brought nuanced and compelling stories from various cultural backgrounds to mainstream audiences. Actor Riz Ahmed, in an interview with The Guardian, mentioned Kingsley as an inspiration, stating, Seeing Ben Kingsley's success made it clear that there was space for actors of South Asian descent in leading roles, paving the way for future generations. In addition to his on-screen work, Kingsley has been a strong advocate for the arts and has contributed to theater, television, and voiceover work. His influence on the industry is undeniable as he continues to inspire and challenge actors and filmmakers with his powerful and transformative performances. Ben Kingsley has a notable history of portraying significant historical figures. He has appeared in three productions depicting the Exodus Moses, the Ten Commandments, and Exodus God and Kings. His portrayal of Mahatma Gandhi in the film Gandhi stands out as he fully immersed himself in the role living in India to better understand the leader's life. In Skynler's list, Kingsley gave a memorable performance as Itzhak Stern. Interestingly, Rudolf Hoss, the Auschwitz Commandant in this film, was previously played by Gunter Maria Halmer in Sophie's Choice in War and Remembrance. Lustig, a producer for War and Remembrance, also worked on Skynler's list. Halmer and Kingsley had previously acted together in Gandhi, making their subsequent collaborations noteworthy. Ben Kingsley, born Krishna Panabanji, is a British actor known for his versatile roles on screen. Outside of acting, Kingsley has a deep interest in music and is a skilled pianist. He is also a food enthusiast and enjoys cooking, often experimenting with different cuisines. Kingsley's personal values and interests often find their way into his work. For instance, he is a strong advocate for social justice and has taken on roles that reflect his beliefs, such as his portrayal of Mahatma Gandhi in the 1982 film Gandhi, for which he won an Academy Award. In addition to his acting career, Kingsley is passionate about philanthropy. He is a supporter of several charities and causes, including UNICEF, Amnesty International, and the Save the Children Fund. He has also been involved in various environmental campaigns and is a patron of the World Wildlife Fund. Kingsley's work in film and theater has had a significant impact on the industry, and he continues to inspire and captivate audiences with his powerful performances. 
His personal values and philanthropic efforts serve as a testament to his dedication to making a positive difference in the world. Ben Kingsley, born Krishna Pandavanji, adopted a stage name with initials that are a reversal of his birth name. His professional journey began with a theatrical movie, Fear is the Key, where he played the character Royale. Before his acting career took off, Kingsley received his education at Manchester Grammar School in Manchester, England. He graduated and pursued his passion for acting, leading to a successful career in the film industry. Ben Kingsley is a highly respected actor, known for his diverse roles and incredible talent. Throughout his career, he has left an indelible mark on the film industry with his powerful performances in movies like Gandhi, Skyler's List, and Iron Man 3. Looking ahead, Kingsley continues to seek out challenging and interesting characters to bring to life. He remains passionate about his craft and is always looking for ways to grow and improve as an actor. For those aspiring to follow in his footsteps, Kingsley offers some valuable advice. He encourages young actors to stay true to themselves and to never stop learning and growing. He also stresses the importance of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. Kingsley believes that success in the acting world is not just about talent, but also about having the right attitude and work ethic. He encourages aspiring actors to be patient, to keep working hard even when faced with setbacks or rejection, and to always be open to learning from others. Ultimately, Kingsley's legacy in the film industry is a testament to his incredible talent, hard work, and dedication. His advice to aspiring actors is a reminder that success in this field takes more than just talent. It requires a strong work ethic, a willingness to learn, and a passion for the craft. Ben Kingsley's portrayal of Itzhak Stern in Skynler's List is noteworthy, particularly when Ammon Goeth questions Skynler's identity, asking, Who are you, Moses? Interestingly, both Kingsley and Ralph Fiennes, who played Goeth, have portrayed figures related to Moses. Fiennes lent his voice to the Prince of Egypt as the Pharaoh who lets Moses go. While Kingsley played the title character in Moses, Kingsley's career-defining role as Mahatma Gandhi in Gandhi was a result of Michael Attenborough's recommendation to his father, Sir Richard Attenborough. This role earned Kingsley numerous accolades, including an Academy Award for Best Actor. In 2002, Ben Kingsley was awarded the Knight Bachelor of the Order of the British Empire in the Queen's New Year's Honors list for his contributions to drama. This recognition underscores his impact on the industry and the enduring legacy of his work. Ben Kingsley, throughout his prolific acting career, has demonstrated a profound passion for storytelling and an innovative spirit that has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. From his breakout role as Mahatma Gandhi to his diverse range of performances in films like Skynler's List, Sexy Beast, and Iron Man 3, Kingsley has consistently captivated audiences with his depth and versatility. His ability to fully embody each character, bringing them to life with nuance and authenticity, has not only earned him critical acclaim, but also the admiration of his peers and audiences alike. Kingsley's work serves as a powerful reminder of the transformative power of creativity and the importance of perseverance in the face of adversity. In an industry that often prioritizes flash over substance, Kingsley has remained steadfast in his commitment to his craft, continually pushing boundaries and challenging himself to explore new depths of human emotion and experience. Through his unwavering passion and dedication, he has left an enduring legacy that continues to inspire and influence generations of actors and filmmakers. As we reflect on Kingsley's remarkable journey, we are reminded of the power of creativity and the indelible impact that a single individual can have on the world. Through perseverance, hard work, and a deep love for his craft, Kingsley has not only made a mark on the entertainment industry, but has also enriched our lives with his captivating performances and powerful storytelling. Ben Kingsley has an impressive film career with several distinctions. He appears in three films included in the American Film Institute's list of the 100 most inspiring movies of all time searching for Bobby Fischer at hash 96, Gandhi at hash 29, and Skynler's list at hash 3. These films have had a profound impact on audiences and are widely regarded as cinematic classics. Kingsley's work has been recognized by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences on multiple occasions. 
As of 2014, he has acted in four films nominated for the Best Picture Oscar Gandhi, Bugsy, Skyler's List, and Hugo. Of these, Gandhi and Skyler's List were victorious in the category. His performances in these films have been highly praised and have earned him a reputation as a talented and dedicated actor. Interestingly, Kingsley's acting career began at a young age. At the age of 10, he went busking outside a cinema with his friend Shirley Edwards in Lanelli, South Wales. This early exposure to the world of performance may have planted the seed for his future success in the film industry. In conclusion, Ben Kingsley's contributions to the world of cinema are significant and far-reaching. His body of work includes several iconic films that have inspired and moved audiences around the world. Ben Kingsley's career has seen him portray a variety of notable roles. His performance as Itzhak Stern in Skyler's List caught Steven Spielberg's attention, leading to his casting after the director saw Kingsley's work in Gandhi. Interestingly, Kingsley received a library book about Gandhi just five days before being offered the lead role in the biopic. In addition to his role in Skyler's List, Kingsley has also appeared in several Marvel comic book films. He starred in Iron Man 3, while Forrest Whitaker appeared in Black Panther, Alfred Molina in Spider-Man 2, and Michelle Williams in Venom. Kingsley's career has also intersected with that of other notable actors. For instance, he starred alongside John Gielgud, Bernard Hill, and Daniel Day-Lewis in Gandhi, while Liam Neeson, who appeared in Shining Through with Gielgud, was cast in Skyler's List after Spielberg saw him in that film. Beyond his work in film, Kingsley has also demonstrated his acting range on stage, earning a Lawrence Olivier Award for his performance in the play Edmund. His career continues to span different genres and mediums, making him a respected and admired figure in the world of acting. Ben Kingsley's portrayal of Mahatma Gandhi in the 1982 movie Gandhi earned him an Oscar. Initially, Dustin Hoffman had expressed interest in the role, but he ended up taking the part in Tutsi the same year, ultimately losing the Oscar to Kingsley. To prepare for the role, Kingsley studied newsreel footage of Gandhi, read books about and by the man, practice yoga, and learn to spin thread, just as Gandhi did. He even went so far as to lose weight for the part. In the film's funeral scene, it was originally intended to use a wax figure of Kingsley as Gandhi. However, on the day of filming, it was clear that the dummy would not be convincing. Kingsley was asked to lie on the funeral pyre instead, keeping his eyes closed as petals were constantly falling on him. These efforts paid off, as Kingsley's portrayal of Gandhi was widely praised and earned him an Oscar for Best Actor. His commitment to the role, from studying footage to lying on the funeral pyre, helped bring the historical figure to life on the big screen. Ben Kingsley was initially set to play Ephraim in Munich, but scheduling conflicts led to Jeffrey Rush taking on the role. Interestingly, Kingsley's characters in House of Sand and Fog and Lucky Number Slevin meet their demise by having a translucent plastic bag taped over their heads. Kingsley's portrayal of Mahatma Gandhi and Gandhi is noteworthy, as Steven Spielberg lost the best picture and director awards to Richard Attenborough for this film. However, several cast members, including Kingsley, went on to feature in other award-winning films. For instance, Kingsley starred in Skyler's List, for which Spielberg won Best Picture, and director Bernard Hill appeared in The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, and Martin Sheen in The Departed. These films were directed by Spielberg, Peter Jackson, and Martin Scorsese, respectively, with Spielberg presenting Best Picture to the latter two. This interconnectedness showcases the extensive reach of the film industry and the collaborative nature of filmmaking, with notable figures frequently working together to create impactful and memorable films. Ben Kingsley, a respected actor, took a break from theatrical movies after appearing in Fear is the Key and returned a decade later with Gandhi, earning him the Best Actor Academy Award. During his hiatus, he remained active in theater and television. Interestingly, Kingsley is the only actor in the acclaimed series, The Sopranos, to have won an Academy Award for acting. In Gandhi, Kingsley brilliantly portrayed the Indian leader, while Robert Duvall won the award the following year for Tender Mercies. Duvall humorously noted the Academy's tendency to favor British actors over American ones. Coincidentally, several actors from Gandhi shared roles with Duvall, including Martin Sheen and John Mills, who played Sherlock Holmes. 
Kingsley, too, shared a role with Duval, portraying Adolf Eichmann in Operation Finale, after Duval's portrayal in The Man Who Captured Eichmann. These connections showcase the interconnectedness of the acting world, where talented artists like Kingsley and Duval bring various characters to life, sometimes even playing the same role in different productions. Ben Kingsley, born in Salford, England, had a notable experience while working on the film Species. His co-star, Michael Madsen, mentioned Kingsley's protective nature over his chair on set, recounting instances where Madsen would purposely damage it. In 1966, Kingsley made his London stage debut in A Smashing Day, produced by Brian Epstein, manager of The Beatles. Epstein also wrote the music, sang, and played guitar for the production. After one performance, John Lennon and Ringo Starr encouraged Kingsley to pursue music, suggesting he would regret not doing so for the rest of his life. He was even offered a deal by the same publishers who handled The Beatles but opted to stay an actor. The following year, Kingsley was invited to join the Royal Shakespeare Company, marking a pivotal moment in his career. It was then he decided to focus on acting, leaving his potential music career behind. Ben Kingsley's performance in Sexy Beast is highly regarded, ranked 97th on Premier Magazine's list of greatest performances. His influence in the film industry is further highlighted by his role as the head of the official competition jury at the 48th Berlin International Film Festival. In 2010, Kingsley received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, an event attended by his son, wife, and friends Bruce Willis and Jerry Bruckheimer. These accolades attest to his lasting impact in the world of film. Ben Kingsley, in his role as Itzhak Stern in Skymler's List, kept a picture of Anne Frank during filming. Years later, he played Otto Frank and Anne Frank the whole story. Both Kingsley and Spielberg noted that Stern served as a witness and conscience in the film. Originally, Dustin Hoffman was offered the role of Stern, but due to a miscommunication, he didn't take it. He later praised Kingsley's performance. In Species, Kingsley played Xavier Fitch, who identifies that an alien signal was received by the Arecibo radio telescope after 19 years of an outbound message transmission. This means that the alien solar system is approximately 9 light years away, with Sirius and Lighten 726A a being the most likely candidates. Ben Kingsley, known for his memorable performances, derived his stage name from his grandfather's nickname Clove King. His grandfather was a spice trader in Zanzibar, which inspired Kingsley's stage name. In his career, Kingsley has shared the screen with actors who have also appeared in Marvel films. He played Xavier Fitch in Species, while Michelle Williams, Ben Kingsley, and Alfred Molina portrayed characters in various Marvel films. Kingsley is known for his role as the Mandarin in Iron Man 3, Molina as Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man 2, and Spider-Man No Way Home and Williams as Anne Wayne from the Venom films. One of Kingsley's fondest movie memories is watching his father go hysterical while viewing Danny Kaye as a car salesman in Knock on Wood. After that, his father often jokingly referred to him as the Danny Kaye of the family. This memory highlights Kingsley's close relationship with his father and his appreciation for classic comedy. Ben Kingsley, born Krishna Banji, has a personal connection to two of his most notable roles. In the 1982 film Gandhi, he portrayed Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, and it's worth noting that Kingsley's paternal family hailed from the same Indian state as Gandhi, Gujarat. Later, in the 1993 film Skyler's List, Kingsley took on the role of its hackster. Interestingly, Skyler's List was released on November 30, the same day as Gandhi, but 11 years apart. Coincidentally, Steven Spielberg's previous films, Jurassic Park and E.T., The Extraterrestrial, were both released on June 11. Kingsley's ability to embody such diverse characters is a testament to his talent and range as an actor. His portrayal of historical figures like Gandhi and Stern has left an indelible mark on audiences worldwide. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the remarkable career of Ben Kingsley, a truly gifted actor known for his incredible range and depth. From his iconic performance in Gandhi to his memorable roles in Skyler's List, Iron Man 3, and House of Sand and Fog, Kingsley has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the talented artists who shape the entertainment world. Let us know in the comments which Ben Kingsley performance resonated with you the most and why. By sharing your thoughts, you're helping to create a vibrant community of film and theater enthusiasts. Your engagement and participation are invaluable to us, so please join the conversation and let your voice be heard. Together, let's celebrate the enduring legacy of Ben Kingsley and the many other talented actors who have captivated audiences for generations.